Welcome to part three, a, a test a tutorial about how to issue orders via da data editor. Uh, it's of course, using my Island Cannon Wars map, as you can see. You can find more information on the map from uh, my YouTube videos on it. And of course, you can find the map on sc2mapster.com. Please watch part two and three, or part one and two, before you watch this part. So we had our problem that we were actually able to right click and actually issue orders. Uh, with our ability. We've tried changing it to uh, restricted and it looks like it's still gonna work. It's just it's not firing because it doesn't have enough energy. Um, big problem. This could be a big problem. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can fix it because this is a problem you guys will probably run into too and you don't want this to happen. Now we could make the attack command truly hidden the problem with that, yeah, see, it's still doing it. The problem with that is, is that it gets uh, removed from your trigger abilities, which is a pain. Um, it would, and I don't think it would fix things here anyway. So I, I think our best solution here is probably if we can't find a, uh, oops, a uh, data solution, it might be to do a trigger of some sort. Because I, I can't think of anything else unless it's actually under the technical. Yeah, I, Gotta be a way to disable it. I don't think none is gonna do anything different either. Um, you think there would be some way of stopping a simple smart click on an ability? Um, abilities. I would think. One would think, right? Ah, of course, smart filters. I wonder if that is what's going to do it. Uh, smart filters, I believe, is for the actual smart command. So if we exclude everything, player, ally, neutral, enemy, then hopefully it shouldn't allow me to try and target those. But the issue order, since it's a specific order using the attack order instead of a smart order, i.e. right-clicking on something. When you issue an order and right-click on something to attack it, that's a smart order. Um, so hopefully, maybe we can fix this without having to use a trigger. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Less triggers you can do, the better. There are some you still have to do uh, for different things, but uh, I'll leave that up to you. Um, hopefully this will work. Good. It looks like it's not working now. See, you know, units can handle that command because we've turned them all off. The most important thing is to make sure that our issue order will still work. So now he's got enough energy. We can't do smart clicking anymore. But hopefully it can still fire. So let's see if our uh, ability is still working. Excellent! So there we go. Problem solved. Very, very simple. Uh, so let's go over that one more time because I know we did that kind of quick. To stop it from being able to do smart clicking, go to your uh, attack that you're using and that you want to have hidden in order to issue the order. In this case I'm using Iron Cannon Attack hidden and go over to your smart filters and exclude everybody. Just uncheck allies, enemies, neutral, and player. Uncheck them all. And if you do that, then smart uh, cl smart clicking or smart filters won't work at all because you can't take anything in. And that will prevent them from actually being able to try and smart right click it. And then there is no way to fire that thing unless you use the ability. So yeah, see, still learning, uh, but really cool stuff. So that's the gist of things. I hope you guys find that interesting. I hope it's useful to you. Hopefully it was clear enough. I know it's a lot to take in. I, my best suggestion is if you didn't quite get a part, go back over it. Watch it again, over and over. Do it step by step. Take a look at it. If you're trying to do the abilities and stuff just like it is, take a look at how each of them look, looks and see if maybe you've met, missed something. Experimentation is the best way to figure this out. It can be time consuming. I spent a greater part of the day figuring this out yesterday. And uh, hopefully, with this information, it's going to save you guys a ton of time. 
So that's really all I have for you, again, uh, for this tutorial. Hopefully, again, it's useful. Uh, play around with it. Have fun with it. I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty cool to see what you guys can do with it. And uh, we'll see you next time.